Dear faculty, I'm going to do my best to condense this presentation on gamification for the fall 2022 faculty workshop down from 25 to under 5 minutes. Here we go. Gamification refers to the incorporation of game design into course design, but gamifying a course is not just a kitschy move. There are profound pedagogical reasons for gameful course design, and not least because gameful design pays attention to who humans are and how humans learn. People are players. We learn with and are driven by our gut as much as by our noggins. People are desiring storied beings, and we make sense of the world through story. So in my own courses, I apply two primary aspects of game design. I invite students to adopt a persona, to see themselves as a hero who carries a sword named Crino, Crino, a tool for discernment. And I invite them to join our hero's journey, a model around which our course is constructed. Now, you can pause the video and read my own philosophy of teaching if you like. It captures the heart of why gameful design is impactful for me and for my students and how gameful design centers whole person learning and transformation. The ethic energizing all my courses is the self-other construct. And what do you know, that construct also mirrors our hero's journey model. I use the hero's journey because it normalizes experience of the strange and unknown. Students anticipate that they will encounter new and challenging learning, but they also anticipate return to the familiar, now empowered with new knowledge, insights, and experiences. So let me share a gamified course, Heroes in the Making, as a recent exemplar of gameful design. During Honor Summer Academy, Heroes in the Making met face-to-face -face daily for one hour with some outside-of-class work to be completed online. As you can see, the syllabus reflects the course's playful intent. Outside-of-class learning content followed the contour of the hero's journey, and students were required to select and complete one heroic task each day. Completion of a task earned the students XP, or experience points, and students were encouraged to complete work beyond the required minimum to earn extra XP, since our course culminated in an epic boss battle and abundant XP was key to victory. Students also had opportunity to earn XP in a fully optional, non-required space for desire-driven learning. In this forum, discussion threads provided lots of options for further learning that resonated with or reinforced our in-class conversations. I added new options daily, which typically consisted of a curated video to watch and a simple prompt to guide reflection. Here are some results to consider. In total, among 19 students, there were 311 posts, about 160 from students, and the rest offered my feedback to student posts. The totally optional Desire Driven Learning Forum offered 17 different threads, and most were worth only about 5 points. And this optional forum received 125 posts, and students earned 267 total non-required points and all of their earned XP was needed to overcome the nasty human salvo cleric. There's a whole backstory here, don't worry about it now. And the boss battle involved using XP to cast attacks or charms by rolling giant inflatable dice at the cleric, who was actually one of my kids in costume, so it was super fun. This brief video doesn't offer space for me to describe how gameful design actually helps me better assess learning outcomes, how gameful design helps me create a culture of reflection and feedback, and how gameful design can generate a robust learning community in virtual spaces. But it does. And if you want to know more about gameful design, I'm here for it. So all the best to you as you incorporate strategies for active learning this semester. The Teaching and Learning Committee is here to help.